Hello, my name is Tom Boone. I'm Associate Director for Mission with the Outreach Foundation. And I'm Joy, his wife. Uh, we are coming to you from our home following a rich visit in Lithuania with a team from Crestwood Church, which is uh, a multi-site church near Richmond, Virginia, and they were exploring sister church partnerships, uh, possibilities with a great friend of the Outreach Foundation, City Church. They were magnificent during the uh, Ukraine war that is still ongoing. Uh, but just fantastic with the relief. And that, that propelled uh, some conversations between uh, Crestwood Church uh, and, and State Church about long-term partnership and, and a range of other things. So we had a great visit there. Uh, you've been following along, and so I don't want to recap everything there, but just to outline it, we started uh, September 4th in Vilnius. We were able to head over to Treke, which is an old... Uh, castle town, one of the oldest castles in Lithuania, and here the historic, the history of, of Lithuania going back to the 12th centuries. Um, then we spent some time in Vilnius exploring the current context of Russia, mm -hmm. the and even the mid 21st century, uh, what mid 20th century, what was going on there, um, gaining appreciation for the Catholic Church and the voice that the Catholic Church has through a visit with the Archbishop there. Um, we went to Conus, uh, to Cholet. We visited with city churches, plants, and leadership in those cities, uh, visited the Hill of Crosses, went down to Klaipeda, uh, had a great set of visits and rich worship with mm -hmm. the main campus, um, delightful visit with Saul, his family, and the leaders there. So that, that's all we did. And one of the questions that I've asked others, and Joy, I'll ask you, is what was the highlight for you? Well, besides reconnecting with old friends, um, old friends was... Uh, meeting with the Archbishop, you mentioned that, and uh, he was such a, a, a kind, humble gentleman, uh, but we had some rich conversation, and at the end, uh, we asked how we could pray for him and how we could pray for the church there in Lithuania. Um, you could tell he was very troubled, and um, just about the, the state of things, not only with the war, but also just uh, with society in general, and my, my takeaway was that he asked that... Um, America for our country to continue to be strong, yeah. uh, not only politically but spiritually, that they follow us and they rely on us. And so, what that my takeaway was: I can pray for them diligently, but also for us because of the influence that we have. Yeah, thanks. And that 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 really was the most direct uh, words to us mm -hmm. in the United States from a leading figure in the Catholic Church. One of the things that we did is we started with, uh, we, we did the team devotions every day, and our starting passage was Psalm 33. It talked about uh, rejoicing in the Lord. It talks about hope, but that it's born out of suffering. Mm -hmm. and we reflected a little bit on Romans 5, where Paul has this fabulous passage about hope is born from endurance and the suffering that, that the endurance through suffering. And really, that is a testimony of the church in Eastern Europe, in particular in Lithuania, uh, many people don't know where Lithuania is, and you're surprised to find out that there's this amazing gem, uh, this church planting uh, group uh, that's doing really lights out ministry in a very difficult uh, part of the world. One of my best friends has said that uh, spreading the gospel in that part of the world is like plowing through concrete. Uh, very different than, say, maybe in our, our with our partnerships that are in the Persian-speaking diaspora where the gospel is just exploding. So this was a rich visit. Uh, thank you for following it. And if you're interested in more, please reach out to me. I'm at Tom at the Outreach Foundation, and we're looking forward to, to many more visits in that region.